Greetings everybody, I'm Daniel Cox from Natural Exposures TV and welcome to this first episode of this new series I'm calling Tools of the Trade. And today's tool of the trade is a piece of software that I've absolutely come to depend on called Mylio. It's an obscure little program, or at least has been obscure, it's getting more and more notoriety, that has helped me access my 1.3 million pictures on these hard drives that I have. And before it, I had no way to get to them on a consistent, regular basis. We're not going to go into detail about Mylio today. That, that may be another episode. What I do want to share with you is this, this tool within Mylio that's basically a slideshow feature. In a couple of weeks, my wife and I are going to be joining 40 other polar bear enthusiasts in a group that we're leading to Churchill, Manitoba to see the polar bears. We're going to be having a cocktail party where I needed an ongoing running slideshow that will just start at one image and continue through the 70 or so other pictures and just continue to rotate itself. I typically use Apple's Keynote for this, but came to realize this powerful little tool right in Mylio that gives me this same option. So sit back, relax, and I'm gonna show you how I put that all together. So the first thing I did in Mylio is I created an album. Up here you'll notice that there's albums. Albums allows you to place images into a specific album so that you can keep track of your pictures. And I named this one PBI Cocktail Hour Program. So here it is up here in the right corner. It's highlighted in blue. If I double click on that, it opens it up and it shows all the pictures within this particular album. So I simply go up to View, Play Slideshow, and up comes a little tool that says Shuffle. So that would allow the slideshow to play and bring up different pictures in random order as opposed to the order that the, I've put them in the album itself. Show title and caption, we don't want that. Display, we're gonna display each picture for about five seconds. And then the duration, we're gonna give a duration of about 1.2 seconds for the transition. We're gonna use a crossfade transition as opposed to a push. And it tells us it's going to be about 78 photos for 8 minutes and 7 seconds. And you can do remember settings for this album. But we're going to start this and just let it play through and see how it goes. So let's do it. Here's the first picture. Now, I haven't figured out exactly how to kind of clean up the transition. It's a little quicker than I would normally like. But... This is how it plays, and this is what we'll be doing for the cocktail party and running this this group of pictures on a screen, on a projector, so that everybody can kind of see the work that, that I'm doing with Polar Bears International and uh, the Arctic Documentary Project. So that's pretty much it. That's how it works. And I thought I would share that little tip on one of the tools of the trade that I use to get my work done. A tool of the trade that is beneficial not only for me, but my work that I'm doing for Polar Bears International, helping I'll tell the story about polar bears and how climate change is going to affect polar bears and in fact, all of mankind across the planet. So if you like this first episode of Tools of the Trade, do me a favor, subscribe below and come join the conversation on Natural Exposures TV in the future for Tools of the Trade, photo tips from the field, and other things I'll be working on. Thanks for joining me.